It's upside down. That's okay. We filming? Yep. Hi, everybody. So, you know, we've been going to RV shows lately and stuff if you've been watching our videos. And we've been getting some ideas, but we have something top secret. Is that camera on me or flying over there? It's on you and over there. Ooh, over I can there, too? I can see the whole picture. So, top secrets we won't know for sure until Friday night. Maybe video to come out Saturday or Sunday. Yes. I usually don't put time frames or times on my videos because then it makes me hold the stuff. So, <laughs> broke my own rule. But... We decided since we think something top secret is going to happen that we're going to start buying things for the thing that is top secret. Is that a weapon in your hand? That's just my handy everyday knife. <laughs> oh, all right. So we bought a little solar panel kit as you can see. It's not very big. It only throws out um, 45 watts which is uh, at 12 volts or so is a uh, um, about 3.75 amps so just to keep this little uh, 35 amp hour battery charged that I bought too so this kit um, value is about $250 plus the battery is about $75 for this little battery this little 12 volt battery so there is about $375 worth of value Harbor Freight always has this on um, sale for about 150 for this kit. Um, it has a charger regulator and some other stuff in it. This battery still is always about 75 so you can pick this kit up when it, wherever you want, usually for about 225 But this week, Harbor Freight put out a coupon, so this kit was 100 bucks. So, I so needed to good. Go get it. So a hundred. What do we spend all together with the tax and everything? About a hundred and eighty. About a hundred and eighty-four with tax for all of it. About a hundred and eighty-four. So I had to get it for that price. Um, yeah, like that's I said, good. It, it won't run your refrigerator. It won't run a microwave. We this doesn't even have an inverter for AC, so we'd have to get one of those. But this is good enough to keep your battery charged during the day. Um, and then for battery life, just so you know, at 35 amp hours, you should probably only use about 18 amps of this battery before you recharge it. Um, so the battery lasts forever. If you kill the battery all the way down to zero and then recharge them, uh, they die quicker um, and go out of use quicker and you have to replace them. So let's say you use 18 amps. And this puts out 3.75 amps an hour. It's going to take you about five, five to six hours of sunlight every day to recharge only your 18 amps of usage. So 18 amps is not very much. So it's really good for charging your cell phones, the camera, running some lights, a fan. Um, like, like the laptop computer uses about 2 amps an hour of energy. So if you're on your computer uploading your video or something else someplace in, you know, 2 to 4 amps. So you can see how you could use up 18 amps pretty quickly. So it's nothing spectacular. Solar stuff is um, expensive. Um, but we just wanted to try some stuff for our top secret purchase. Yippee! That might be coming up. We can't say what it is. Nope. But that's that. So I'm going to unbox all this stuff for this video. And then I'll put it together and show you and test it with my voltmeter and stuff another time. But there's the battery. And with this system here, it's real easy to buy another battery. Oh, these solar panels, if you want to buy them individually, there's three in here, are anywhere normally from $50 to $65 a piece. So that's why getting three in this kit um, with the voltage regulator charger or anything like that was such a good deal that when I saw that, I just had to go buy it. So there's the battery. A battery is a battery. And this is upside down. You think I should open it from the top? Probably. It's heavy. I hope it doesn't go through this glass table. You want me to help you? No, just... 
It'll make a good video if it goes through the glass table. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, parts is parts. So I need to get it going because I gotta make sure everything works so if it doesn't I can take it back or get replacement parts. Paperwork. PVC stand. Oh, yeah, cool. That I probably won't use because it'll be probably mounted on top of the top secret. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, wires, and bolts. So these three I know go to each panel and then come to one. And then this is an extension which is going to hook up to the charging regulator so you don't overcharge your battery. Cool. Part of the framework. Because this is a standalone kit that you can just set up in your uh, top secret outside of your top secret when you're in your campground. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't want to say yet because we haven't finalized the deal, and uh, they probably we probably have to custom order exactly what we want. And the guy was telling us that, that could even take six to eight weeks maximum to get everything ordered the way that we want it and delivered. So this is one of the main reasons we were not going to Disneyland over. The summer is because we were tired of going to hotels, but things take time in life. Yep. Oh, it even came with some DC light bulbs. Ooh, that's cool. Oh yeah, we'll probably never use these, but it's good to test the system with. Certainly. Check that out. Awesome. I wonder where the... um. The connections are, what do you call that when you put the socket? Probably down in here, that's another one of those bulbs. Here's the sockets. Oh, oh look at that. yeah! Awesome. And they got weird plugs on them, they must plug into this. Cool, this cool, is the other cool. piece. So, this one isn't very powerful. If we doubled this system, we'd have to buy a new one of these for like a 100 watt system or whatever. But this will be enough to charge, to keep that battery charged. Oh yeah, look at that, 12 volt inputs like that. Yeah. It also has a 12 volt cigarette lighter. And it also has 3 and 6 volts. Wow. Oh, and look, it has an inverter, a 12-volt inverter plug. So we can buy an inverter that has a 12-volt plug. So the inverter will switch the DC to AC. Very cool. And those are just the hookups on the back. Awesome. And that's a fuse. That's fun, oh, honey. Oh, look, it has a USB port to charge your the phones in this, too. Awesome. Yeah, this is a nice little starter kit. It really is. It might be enough for what we want to do. Awesome. Since we're only, you know, staying night, we're not living full time. Right. Oh, more cables. Oh, these are just the cords coming out of the solar panels. Oh, I see. Try not to drop it. So this system here, why I went with this system, um, Thunderbolt, is because it's easy to make this grow to suit your needs. Like you can make this three times, four times the power pretty easily. I'm looking for where I set the knife down. 
And for the price, I don't know if you shop for any kind of solar for your top secret project. <laughs> But it's nice to be able to have some power when you're off the grid. Man, this did come packed nice. I was worried about the yeah. condition of the box. It came packed really nice and safe. So you just got to be careful now that we don't short this up because there is still some sunshine out and you're supposed to build this and test it in the shade or inside before you bring these out in the sun. Oh, okay. Because the moment boom, you put that in the sun, it is making power. I don't think the current's very much to do any damage to you anyway. Right. But that is pretty darn nice. That is. That's awesome. And I think we'll uh, go ahead and end the video here until I set it up. There's just there's just two more of those panels if you want to show them in here. So if you wanted to buy all this stuff separately, like I said, it's about $250. Extra panels are between $50 and $65. Just wait for stuff to go on sale. And then if the system got too big, we'd have to replace this. Uh, probably be like a $75 unit to go up double or triple the size of this. And still, even with this, we're going to have to spend about $50 more dollars on a AC inverter so but that's it I'm happy with it so far awesome Everything came out looking nice and I'm gonna put it together and probably show you in a day or two that it all works awesome if not I'll be putting it all in that box and taking it back yep hope everyone's having an awesome day and we'll see you soon bye